Hello people, it's Dodie. Today, let's talk about solvents. Now, there was a question asked on another person's channel about what to do with uh, dolls that have been painted that you want to take the paint off. Well, the simplest thing to say is that there is always going to be something you want to take off. And how do you do it? As far as a composition doll, the simplest thing for most people is just flip the old paint off. You can even do it with your fingernail if the paint is old enough. But, <clears throat> if you don't know what's on there, you, well, everyone assumes that there's always going to be oil-based paint because that's what there was before 1951. The thing is, is that how do you know that the doll has not been repainted before you got her? In the case of this little doll that Lola and Sonny got me, you don't know. For me, the first thing I do is go with alcohol. Now, I like 91% alcohol, but you can al always go with a 71 or even a 50. And wiping over the doll, you're liable to come up with something odd. This one is fine. If you simply, one, you need to get rid of the dirt no matter what, and alcohol is a great one for that. But you'll start to see transfer. We talked about that the last time. That there was paint transfer, and sometimes the alcohol doesn't do it. And so you think like right here that it's just paint and by the way it does just flip off with your fingernail because it is so old and so dry but <clears throat> if you have a suspicion and the alcohol doesn't do it go with your acetone Because acetone will melt acrylics just like that. Which surprised me because I thought, like I told you the last time, that this was just done to the upper body. But this was a very professional doll restorer. And this person repainted the whole doll lightly in the case of the legs and arms. But it was repainted. If you want to go down all the way to the base, like I'm going to do with this doll, you do have to be careful to be clean. Because <clears throat> Acrylic will stick to old oil base. But oil base will not stick to a acrylic as we saw with Port Spring Baby. It simply will not dry on there. Now if I'm going to use oil like I am with this uh with this one. We've got to repair that small spot. This area back here. So we have to go down to the base paint. <clears throat> Acetone, which is the uh, 
basis for fingernail polish will take off acrylic. It'll also take off shellac. And of course, it's great to clean up your working material if it happens to have dried up before you can get back to it. And we all know this little bowl. Yeah, alcohol will take it right up. And so will acetone. Now, the question became what were we going to do about the oil paint if you wanted to take it up without damaging the doll. <clears throat> now, you can take the paint off with a paint remover. I have mineral spirits here. So let's just see what happens. With the little leg. Short version is it doesn't do much. It actually goes into the paint and helps restore it. I like using linseed oil, but you can use mineral spirits just as well. You do have to use an oil-based paint remover, which will break the bonds, but I don't see the need. Especially when all you have to do is flip the paint off. It's that simple. And you can see I was doing it with my fingernails. Now, what do you use if you're going to uh, flip off the, fin uh, the uh, polish? You can use anything you choose. You saw me do it with the fingernail. You can use a dental tool. I like to use this around really tight little places, but I got this at the at uh, Walmart in the dental section. This is a carving tool for modeling. I used it for ceramics and back in the day when I was doing that. You can use a table knife like Tammy does. I have this little set of knives. I bought these at the uh, auto supply place in my town. Just a moment. We just recently got, whoops, glare, glare, glare. Just recently got a new set. Cost me all of five bucks. You can get these at uh, Michael's, and they're going to cost you considerably more. Because I priced them out, I think they were $22, $25. I got mine at the... Uh, mechanic that uses my uh, the services my car uses them just about anything will take paint off but acrylic comes off better than anything else that's available and the interesting thing is with acetone it gets brittle if it doesn't come off immediately it gets brittle like this particular doll we were talking about it had been so beautifully 
repaired, but it had been repaired in plastics. And you can see that the side of the doll has been glued and not glued very well because we've got good gaps. But up here in the top, you can't even see the seam. So it had been repaired, but how and with what? Given the style of the doll and how sweet her little face is and how well done. I'm going with, uh, it had been done with Bondo. Now Bondo is a car repair item. It's fiberglass, but once again, it's one of the plastics. And you can see that with a plastic, If you saturate it with enough, it gets brittle. And so you can break it off. Now, why would you want to break it off? Well, you don't have to. But, for a lot of us, we want to get down to the bare wood. And make no mistake about it, composition is wood. It's just sawdust and glue. And I like to paint a bare wood. I like to go down to the original, just like you do with plastics and those lovely ladies. See how brittle it's become. So it's become just as brittle as the old paint. So be aware, if you're going to do replacement work and you hear the different tone. It sounds like breaking plastic. If you're going to do repair work with plastics, be aware that you still have to be careful around the solvents that you use around them. You can hear the little ting that you don't hear. It's a different sound than you get. With oil paint, it, it's, it's hard to explain unless you can actually go at it. But now you see up under there was plaster. And why do I say it's plaster? Because it feels like chalk. It wears away like chalk. And, ch and plaster does have to be protected just like um, wood does. And wood and chalk and plaster go together very well. But if you just pick at it, it comes apart. And that's part of doll archaeology. There comes a point when 
you're going to want to go all the way down. If you don't, you just simply build on top. And the problem with building on top is eventually all of it's going to break apart and you're going to end up having to go back down to bare wood again. So, me, I prefer to go down to bare wood to begin with. And then if I'm going to make modifications work from the base. So you can see where it's been built up. And where we're going to have to chip. I'm assuming, looking at it, that we're going to have to chip down to here in order to get back to the original paint. And yeah, the paint's still there, as you can tell. But anyway, that's a short course on what solvents will do and how you learn to look at what you've got. Do be careful. Observe safety <clears throat> when you're working with, imp with sharp implements because you will tear your fingers up. See, just anything to get out and get under the paint and flip it out. And yeah, apply, uh, acrylics, Bondo, Milliput, all of it. Once it's dried out sufficiently, it will flip back off just like the old oil base paints are. All right, people, remember to do all the stuffs. All that like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll get back to my doll, and you can get on with your day. See ya. Bye-bye.